Good morning, BookTube. Lori here, Books, Ink, and Paper. I've got the sun shining in my office today, which is incredible. Two days of sun in a row. I've got my coffee, my uh, Margaret Mitchell coffee cup today, and a book haul for you, February book haul. I hauled a lot of books in February. I got some as gifts and I purchased a few. So here we go. Share. So the first one I received in February was a great sweet gift from my friend Sarah at Sarah's Nightstand. She replaced my copy of Little Women, which I had mentioned at one point that I lost in the hurricane and it was so sweet of her to think of me. And she sent it in honor of my my new booktube channel and my regular postings. And so I, again, Thank you, thank you, thank you, Sarah. You are my inspiration and you're such a dear friend. And I miss, uh, I missed you seeing you last year, but I think we're gonna see each other this year. So I love this copy. Look how beautiful it is. Um, has a little quote on the back, which the sun is um, not allowing you to see, but the, and there's the four girls. So excited, little women. Um, I can now read it again yearly uh, with joy. The next book that I was gifted this month was a, an advanced reader's copy of uh, a book called Little Darlings. This is the ARC cover, but this will be the cover when it's published. Isn't that beautiful? When it's published in April, so I have till April to read it, and it's just a delight. So here's the synopsis of little darlings everyone says new mother lauren tranter is exhausted that she needs a rest but she knows what she saw that night in her hospital room a woman tried to take her newborn twins and replace them with her own creatures but everyone from her doctor to her husband thinks she's imagining things then later the babies disappear from her side in the park and they come back and when they return she knows that they're not her babies and so she's determined to find out what happened to them can you imagine? I read the first three chapters, which is uh, how you get, you know, you get it entered to win on Bookish First is you read the first three chapters, you write a synopsis of, uh, or a little review of what you think of the book and whether you want to read it. And then if you're picked, you are sent the ARC copy. So very excited to have that. Then I was gifted Once Upon a River by Diane Setterfield for Valentine's Day. I love Diane Setterfield's 13th Tale. I did not read Bellman in Black, but this is so far, I started it just a day or so ago. I'm 61 pages in, not very far. I haven't had much reading time in the last couple of days, but um, it's a lovely story so far. It's a story. It's a book about telling stories and it's a lovely story. So the synopsis of this book is that a man um, comes into a pub one night holding a child and he's been injured severely and the child is um, is dead and so the pub owners call the nurse to care for the man and then it appears as though um, all is not what it seems hours later she takes a breath and returns to life so the question is is it a miracle or is it um, magical or is it, was there a mistake made? Um, neat, neat, neat story so far. I'm very excited. And the next one that was gifted to me is Atomic Habits by James Clear. My team leader from a company that I do some work for, it's a coach training company and I do some contractual work for them. She loved it and so she sent it to our team and so it's really just about changing your habits, but she says it's not like every other book about habit change. She says, I will be really surprised by it. What's interesting and what makes me so happy that she chose to gift this to me is right after she told me about it, someone else told me about it too, another coach that I know. So I think that means it's meant for me to read it. And it has some great, um, some great uh, blurbs about how good it is on the back. 
Another book I got for free, I did my blind date with a book at the library and I chose, uh, unbeknownst to me, I chose this copy of Locked On, which is a Tom Clancy novel written by Mark Greeny. Tom Clancy, uh, as you may know, passed away some time ago and so Mark Greeny now writes on under his pen name. Uh, I don't know that I'm going to finish this blind date with a book by March 5th, which is the wrap-up day, but um, this is a Jack Ryan novel, and I've read a couple of other Jack Ryan novels, and this one, um, he's uh, hunting down terrorists still, and uh, this is a... Um, an enemy of Jack Sr. launches a privately funded vendetta to discredit him by connecting a presidential candidate to a mysterious killing in the past by John Clark, his longtime ally. Um, so Clark goes on the run and Jack Ryan Jr., along with some other uh, members of his team, start to try to rush to not only clear Clark's name, but to stop a terrorist attack. There's um, yeah, there's often a terrorist attack in these books. I mean, always, I think. So it is 850 pages, but it's pretty big font, actually, um, I think. And usually, as I recall, these are fairly short chapters, which for me always makes things go fast. And uh, so, you know, I, I may give it a shot and just see how much of it I can get done before March 5th it will at least be enough for me to say if I like my date, right? The next one I purchased, and that is Adriatic Allure by Jane Golden. She was, the day I got the blind date with a book, she was the author uh, for Authors and Characters for the month. She's a self-published mystery writer, and she's just really, really sweet. So this one is about a woman who uh, gives up her career as an attorney. It's kind of... Um, follows along the lines of Jane's life to follow her husband to Romania and while they're there her niece visits comes to visit and someone is murdered in a park a young woman is murdered in a park and then her niece disappears and so Jenny has to then discover what happened to her niece and hopefully you know before she's killed I'm sure so um yeah, I'm excited to take a look at that. Her character, Jenny, is um, an, an American expat turned sleuth, so that's fun. The next few I got from Thrift Books, I've actually talked about these in another video. I got Strange Magic by Sid Moore, which is an Essex Witch Museum mystery. So the character Rosie Strange inherits the museum and thinks she's going to get rid of it, but then she decides to keep it, and it is a witch's um, history museum, and then she finds out some other things that embroil her in a centuries-old mystery. It's the first, I think, in a series written by Sid Moore, and so this is somebody that I wanted to take a look at, and uh, it's a witch's mystery, and it's um, set in Essex, so yeah. And then the next one I got on Thrift Books is the second in the Sydney Chambers Grandchester Mystery Series, The Perils of the Night. I, again, just love these covers. The illustration on these covers is fantastic. I have not read the first one, but I do want to read more of his books. And um, so I wanted to have the first two, and that usually gives me a good idea of whether or not I want to read the series. But I, I did a cover chapter try, cover try. I did a chapter try of book one and I liked it a lot. So this one follows, of course, um, Canon Sydney Chambers. And this time, uh, and, and this is what I love too, he accompanies his faithful Labrador Dickens and is called to investigate the fall of a Cambridge Don from the roof of King's College Chapel. Um, a case of arson at a glamour photographer studio and the poisoning of Zafar Ali. Um, so <laughs> just, there's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on. I'll read it and do a review because I don't know that that is a good synopsis for me to be able to tell you what um, is happening in that book. This one from Thrift Books is J.K. Rowling's The Cuckoo's Calling. It's the first in a series written by Robert Galbraith, which is her pen name. These mysteries are uh, 
uh, a private detective sleuth. And this one is um, this, uh, there was a suicide months earlier and someone comes in to tell the detective, which is Cormoran Strike, that he doesn't think that it was a suicide and he asks him to investigate it. And so that is the um, premise of this plot. The next one I purchased recently, uh, actually a couple days ago to round out the month is The Magpie Murders. This was another one that I wanted to make sure I read this year. I wanna read more Anthony Horowitz and I went to an independent bookseller here locally that just moved and I wanted to support her new venture and her new space and this is their monthly mystery book club pick so if i choose to read this one i need to do that by march 13th to participate in the book club discussion so i need to really take a careful look at my march tbr tom clancy anthony horowitz diane setterfield I also have Bird Box on my Kindle. I just downloaded from my library from Overdrive. So I've got a lot of decisions to make. But this one is Anthony Horowitz writes uh, Sherlock Holmes mysteries. He's revised Sherlock Holmes. Um, he's also a screenwriter that wrote some uh, episodes of Midsummer Murders and Fo Foil's War, which I like both of them. Um, but yes, yeah, so it's a, it, it says it's a summer thriller, an ideal summer thriller. So this follows Alan Conway, who is a crime writer and his editor. And Alan writes mysteries like Agatha Christie and Dorothy Sayers and, and, you know, people like that. And Susan gets his latest manuscript, his editor, and she doesn't think that there's anything different about it, but that actually leads to the story inside of it leads to a murder somehow. So it says, <laughs> Time Magazine says, Anthony Horowitz's Magpie Murders is catnip for classic mystery lovers. That's me, I'm excited. I love Magpies too, by the way. So great title for me to pick up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten books in the month of February. I think I am done. And this will serve as my February book haul. Thanks for joining me today. I would hope that you would give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and share it with your friends. I will let you know how I do with this uh, reading plan, and I will talk to you soon. Happy reading. Bye-bye.